Women have three sets of lips. The first set you're probably looking at right now. The second set are the labia majora. And the third set are the labia minora. In the past two decades, an increasing amount of beauty ideals regarding the female genitalia are being communicated by the porn and fashion industry. I find it absolutely sickening that it seems like it's ideal to look like a 10 year old girl who doesn't have hips, hair, labia or a mons. So I'm glad you're watching this video and I hope you later on take a head mirror and look at yourself to see what a beautiful woman you really are. The labia majora are the fleshy wings around the vagina and vulva. They actually look like rose petals, being equally soft and silky. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and all kinds of colors ranging from pink, purple, red, dark brown. Come to think of it, every common lipstick color. And this is not a coincidence. The inner part of the labia majora are smooth and lubricate the vaginal opening and the urethra canal. When aroused, blood flow is going southwards towards the genital, making the lips swell up. The inner lips are smaller, located more internally and do not have fat or hair. You can see them best when pulling both the outer and the inner labia apart, as is shown in this schematic visualization. The inner labia connect below the clitoris, forming the frenulum of the clitoris, commonly known as a clitoral fold. On the other end, the lips meet on the surface of the skin, forming the frenulum of the labia minora, also known as the fourchette, which means fork in French, but I have no idea what a fork has got to do with it. More on the outside, around the vaginal opening, the lips come together merging into the perineum. The glands inside the inner labia secrete an acidic lubrication, killing germs. The inner lips also function like a show curtain. Most of the time, they're closed. But when she is aroused, they open to welcome the wanted guests. And to complete the anatomy lesson, the inner lips also help steer the urine in the right direction. Hands free. The outer lips can be pleased the same way as the mom's pubis. Gently, tenderly, teasingly. The inner lips, and particularly the frenulum and the perineum, are highly sensitive. Manual and oral play can be very pleasurable. Labiaplasty, reducing the size or altering the shape of your lips with cosmetic surgery, can actually damage your nerve endings in the labia and desensitize the lips. Now the choice is yours. Do you want to look like a 10 year old girl or do you want to keep your erogenous zones intact for ultimate pleasures? Next week I'll discuss sexting, the act of sending explicitly sexual messages which we have done way before Instagram. I'll discuss our breasts, butt, but also what eyeliner has got to do with having orgasms. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it valuable, then also send it to your friends. Subscribe to YouTube channel or to the mailing list on intimacy.rocks.